So, hello everybody, and welcome to episode 12, if you're a YouTube video watcher. Today, after finding the uh, Zola Zulabai in the last episode, that means that we can go ahead to Zora's domain at long last. A home What we can also do while we're here is play Zelda's Lullaby. So we've got another song to play to the frog geezers who are here. Some frogs are looking at me. So let's play them Zelda's Lullaby and see what they give me there. Possible reward. Might just be rupees though. Let's see how we get on. How, how are we starting off? Yeah. Souvenir. It says take rupees. Oh, hoo, 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 hoo. the giant's knife. So this is not the big Oron sword. I think that's the one that breaks. But still, that means that adult Link can use the giant's knife, which is fantastic. That is going to make certain battles a lot easier until it breaks. So here we go. This is the moment. We've been waiting for this for a long time, a long time, where we can play Zelda's Lullaby and enter Zora's Domain. Here we go. Now that's a thumbnail, isn't it? One of the, one of the great shots in this game. The waterfall parts. And we can enter Zora's Domain for the first time. And we get the Kiri Forest theme inside Zora's Domain. It does make me miss the Zora's Domain theme, however. Not a bad substitute. At least it's not something too freaky. Lots of golden pots, so let's see what we've got. A key to the Fire Temple. We've got loads of those. Uh, Deku sticks. Uh, we should be fine for those, but we'll take those. A red rupee. Not really necessary. A blue rupee, not necessary. And a recovery heart, not necessary, but hey, checking off the boxes. Let's see what's in the Zora the main shop. Oh my goodness me, the Goron tunic is that. Thing is, we, we saw the Zora tunic was in Kakiri Forest shop, and we found it in another, in another place. So it's possible that that isn't the only place we can get that. But that's good to know. So there's a thing you can do where you light all of these beacons. Can't fully remember what it gives you when you do it, but King Zora spawns out of the way, which is very, very helpful. So let's let's light that thing there. It's a shame because that iconic cutscene where King Zora spends five years moving out the way, going nyo 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 nyo. I was kind of looking forward to that. However, it does save us a lot of time. Right then. There's one. There's two. Three, four. And then that's going to spawn a chest. Is anything going to be in it? Let's have a look. No, he's not giving it any attention. Oh, Spirit Temple key, yeah. Pretty much all of those doors were open anyway, so I'm not sure we're going to have to worry about those particularly. Let's try the diving game now. That's the next port of call. And then we will um, take King Zora's bait and make a move towards Zora's fountain. So here we go, Zora diving game. Not sure how this is going to operate in the randomizer, but let's see. Diving game, yes, I want to play. Now, will, the first question is, will it be rupees that get thrown down there? Second question is, what will the reward be for doing this? Okay, they are all rupees. So let's go. Okay, we got a couple there, apparently. Right. There's one. Should be fine. This is very early in the game, so if I do mess this up, then you can tell I'm a noob. Then you can just point at me and say, ha ha, you're a noob. Okay. 
There we go. And is that the last one? I think that's the last one. I think we're going to be very comfortable here. Congratulations, I've got something very nice for you. Come and get it. Let's see what this does give us, though. What a graceful dive. Now, please take this. This is a scale of our kind, but it's probably not going to be that. It's a recovery heart. Wow, what a scale of your kind. Wow. Okay, people. I'm going to grab a fish just in case Jabby Jabby requires it. Let's get a fish. Nice. Looks so fresh and delicious. I can think of someone who might enjoy this. There's also a great fairy's fountain that we can do. So Jabba Jabba's uh, mouth is shut, which means we will have to provide him with a fish. But let's see what these golden pots give us. Okay, Kajiro. That's another trading quest item that we can change in. So, I think I know. I think you have to give that to the guy in the forest. That one's just a rupee. That's just a rupee. This one's just a rupee. I'm, I mean, I don't know why it gives me that loser thing, but... But whatever, mate. Let's give this boy a fish. Let's fish this boy up. Yep, it's going to skip the cutscene, which is where we get sucked into the belly. And we now find ourselves inside Jabu Jabu's belly. And it's the Temple of Time music, which is interesting. Uh, just trying to think what items we might need for this. My Deku shield to deal with these boys. Yeah, fuck you. Yeah, fuck you. Okay. Uh, they're not going to give me anything of any real note. Oh. 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 That took way more shots than it should have done. Through we go. Such a... <laughs> oh, okay. How do you kill this guy? Oh, it's boomerang shit, isn't it, this? So I think just best to avoid... Best to avoid those guys. So Ruto is here, usually. But I think it'll have skipped that particular cutscene. Yep, yeah, I, I was going to say stuff does appear out of nowhere in this one. Okay, how far can we get without the boomerang? Hmm. You need to put Ruto on that. So I think maybe we have to go... Because usually you meet Ruto in this room. And she waddles off and falls down this hole, I think. Yeah, she does. There you are. I will give you the honour of carrying me. Well, come on then, you. We're going to have to leave this place. But I just thought I'd come in, see what progress I could make. Uh, those stingray guys are so annoying. Let's get Ruto up there. This, I'm sure, will raise the water level. And we can climb up here. I don't think that I can hear that school tuller. I don't think I can get it without the boomer. Oh, no, I could get that without the boomerang. Every school tuller is going to matter. So we need to... Press this. Hope those super annoying Stingray guys don't come for us. There we go. Gold School Tuller. And some golden pots up here. But they're all rupees and they're all useless. Yep. Yeah, we're, we're preemptively pushing that bad boy down. They've all come out of the water, those Stingray guys. The boomerang makes this dungeon, like every enemy in this dungeon, so easy. Oh, fuck, fuck's sake. Come on. In fact, it's probably a good job. I would have to put, I would have had to put her down anyway. Come on, you. Let's go. And then we can jump on this. And that gets us up to where we were before. 
And that means we can put Ruto down on stuff. Okay. Let's go. Let's see. Let's see what can be done then. So we need to make sure we don't fall down any holes. We also need to watch out for that thing that will jump from the come down from the ceiling there. We've avoided him. It, they. Uh, let's try going this way first. So we need to go here. And then if we drop Ruto on there, we'll leave her behind so she keeps the door open. Okay, this thing then. You need the you need the boomerang to beat this guy, don't you? Yeah, you you definitely need the boomerang to kill that. So she's gonna get pissed off at me. Act like a man. Okay, I'll pick you up then. So I can't go that way until I've killed that last one. Do, 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 do. So let's try this one. Do, 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 do. So maybe this is the way you're supposed to go first. Yeah, this looks more like it. Yeah, because these guys can be killed. No, just lock onto the one that's out of the water, please. Or out of the ground. Ah, oh, no, he's gone back to the ground. Right, come on, mate. Ah, uh, you gonna lock on? No? No? Just gonna lock on to random. Right, can I? Yeah, I can. Nice, there's one dealt with. Do you give me anything? One rupee. Come on, mate. Come on, lads. Come on, lads, out you come. There you go. Oh, two. Two for price of one. No, I can't get that one. Okay, oh. There we go. There we go. Oh. Made a little dive for it, that boy. Did that one give me anything? No. Not very kind. Oh, no! I'm out. Shit. Okay, I can still get him with the sword, I think. I've seen him to attack me. Ah, okay. Shit. Can I still kill him? Yes, okay. Nice little jump stash. I could do with some uh, Deku seed things right now. But it was no, no problem for me. So this is the chest you do to get the boomerang in. Uh, it would be absolutely crazy if it was to be the boomerang. It would be very helpful though. But anything decent, no, just kicking it open. Yeah, recovery heart. So without the boomerang, we th that's as far as we can go in Jabba Jabba's belly, I'm afraid. That's all we can do here. Oh God, go away. We had to check. And now we can run into his teeth and leave. We can come back here as Adult Link and do the Ice Cavern. In fact, that's the order you would usually do it. You'd do Ice Cavern and then Water Temple. Oh! Ice Cavern. Yes. And we get the same shot again. We've got two thumbnails to choose from. Do we want the adult one or the child one? So now we're going to find that this is all frozen. Ooh, look, it's all frozen Ganoners. Evil, naughty Ganon. Oh, there's a, there's a school tiller up there. Right. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, I can hear it, I can hear it. He's there. We can definitely get him, surely. Yes. 23, so seven more. Let's do the ice cavern with its slippery slopes. The sound effects as, as Link runs on water or on ice or on metal are just so perfect. Look at this, Jabba Jabba's... The thing I find amazing about this as well, the mystery of it all, Jabba Jabba's not even frozen over. I think he's just gone. Crazy shit. Okay, so... 
Oh, there's something over there. Is that the golden gauntlets? Holy shit. So we've already got the silver gauntlets, but that look, because usually that's a heart piece. That looks to me like a gauntlet. That looks to me like the golden gauntlets. Which is a very late on in the game thing that you get. I think it is, is it? Oh shit. Oh shit, I can't even, ah. Okay, 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 come on, come on, come on. Sort yourself out. The golden gauntlets. They are, that's the biggest strength update you can get in the game. That means you can like lift up bloody anything. Does that mean we can go over there and I'm just going to check out the fairy's fountain. Can I lift that up? It says grab. Yes. Throw. Okay. Does it still want me to use the Megaton Hammer to destroy that or can I use bombs? Let's see. Yes! Woo! So now we can find out what this great fairy has to offer us. Let's see if it's something good. We've had two Deku Nuts and one key, I think it was. What's this one got for us? A recovery heart! Woo! So now we head over to the... Ouch. Now we head over to the ice cavern. Yeah, come on, boy. There we go. And here we go. It's ice cavern time. Let's go. And it's <laughs> as if we're getting Lon Lon Ranch in here. Crazy. Do, do, do. Really takes you out. I mean, the Ice Cavern music is so icy and brilliant and... Ouch. So I think we have to defeat these guys. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, no. Avoid, avoid. Oh, he's moved. He's, he's, he's moved. Okay, well, at least he's gone. Oh, no, he's spawning there. I think we have to, I think we have to get, ouch. Yeah, okay, that opens that up. And, uh, such a gorgeous piece of music, the, the Long Long Ranch theme. Okay, golden pots. Silver rupee, which is for later on in the ice cavern. Oh, the silver scale. How random is that? Okay, so that applies to our diving. Um, but I don't know if there's anything that we really need that for anymore. It was, at one point, what we needed to do to get the slingshot, but... But we have the slingshot now. Because we got it in the forest temple, so... So... Random. But anyway, some more golden pots. Okay, there's a... There's a Cheeky school tuller up there, so let's see if we can get that. So let's let's do that. Have we got the angle? Yeah, we've got the angle. Every school tuller counts. You never know what the rewards are going to be for these, especially in our little randomizer. Right, okay. Are any of these the actual silver rupees? Oh, okay. Peace of heart. We take those things. Oh, okay. Another piece of heart. We take these things. I think we just got another heart. And that's another silver rupee. So usually this room is a bit of a silver rupee gathering room. I think. Um, and yeah, all of those are... Hmm. So I think we need blue fire to do a lot of these. That's not a silver rupee, it's just a ru Okay. So, okay, interesting. I'm pretty sure all the silver rupees are in their own dungeons. And usually this room would be a silver rupee collection room. That's the way forward. But we need blue fire 
to go through there. Do we have to destroy that? And is there a silver rupee in it? Doesn't seem like it. Am I supposed to have already got blue fire? That's a possibility, because you need blue fire to, pro to progress. If you, if you haven't got all the silver rupees, it would be blue fire to progress. So does the randomizer want me to already have some blue fire? I'm thinking maybe that is the case. Okay, well I guess... I guess Ice Cavern... I thought we'd have everything we need, I thought it would... Allow us to progress, but it seems so we're gonna to need to find blue fire from somewhere and it ain't gonna be here We can do the great fairy near Ganon's castle, so that's good. We're not losing hope just yet So this one I think takes you to the Lost Woods So we may as well go down here and do Kajiro first and with our silver scale We can dive further and dive into it, which is nice Yeah, this guy's still blocking the way. Yeah, fuck you, bro. We've got the menu out of forest. It doesn't matter so through here. Yeah, there he is. There's our guy. He's going to turn into a Stalfos, Stalfos soon. Let's give him Kajiro. I'm pretty sure it's him that you give it to. Yeah. Look at him. Kajiro, why? Normally only a nice guy like me can tame you, which means you must be a nice guy. Woo! Okay, so usually it's the old potion. What will he give us? <laughs> One rupee. Cheers, mate. You're a good man. There we go. Here it is. Ganon's castle. Check it out. It's such a cinematic, freaky thing. I don't believe... Yeah, we need the... We need a bit more... A bit more progress yet to be able to go in there. But what we can do... Oh, I'm hearing a... There he is. Every school toll accounts. Don't know how you managed to get yourself there, mate, but... Only five more now. Five more. And we get the next item reward. But anyway, we can... We can unlock this bad boy. Yes! Deadlift. Look at that. Look at that. Fucking incredible. Let's see if this one gives us anything decent. Do, 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 do. So far, the Great Fairies Fountains haven't really given us that much to shout about. Okay, peace of heart, fair. That's not too bad. Our life force increases. Still no magic, still no boss keys, but hey. Hey ho, there she goes. So I think our next... Yeah, the water temple's got to be our next port of call. We've got the Zelda's, we've got Zelda's lullaby. We've got the ability to to go in there and throw our weight about for a bit and see if we can find any more. Of course, that's where we found a bonus song, which opened a few things up for us quite a few episodes ago now. Be great if we found something big in there today. So I'm pretty sure if you get up at speed and go at the right angle, and it's quite a cool sight to see, so I'm gonna try it. Let's do it. Yes. Too easy. Don't mess with this steed. Cheeky water temple. In we go. So we need to jump in and sink down. And of course there'll be a few, few pots and a few chests that we can uh, take a look into while we're here, of course. Is it through here? A room that usually has Ruto in? Yes it is. Take these bad boys off. Float to the top. And then there should be a lovely Zelda's lullaby point. We need to remember to bomb that door and get the chest. Oh, bang your head, why don't you link? And now, which we couldn't do before, let's change this water level. Bosh. This is progress already. Progress in this dungeon already is being made. So bye bye water. Now I can't remember there being anything through here that we haven't already. I think we've already got the chest in here. Yeah, we have. So all that's left for us to do is jump back down here. Um, Deku stick. 
which we can't use. Am I supposed to have been able to dins fire by this point? There's a chest through that door. Take the arrows. Take the arrows. Okay. But, uh, yeah, I think maybe... Just trying to think about how you're supposed to... Put, set those on fire without Din's fire. Fire arrows we were not supposed to have got yet. Eh. Eh. Because we can't use Decker Sticks, can we? No. Just thought I'd double, triple, quadruple check. Okay, so. Leaving here. Allows us to go in here. Now this famous central part of the building is of course the bit where everyone forgets that 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 platform, this platform lifts up and everyone forgets about it. So we're not going to do that. Right, where am I hookshotting to? I swear I'm meant to be hookshotting on something here. There. Nice echoes in here. Right then. We're not going to forget to go down there. Yeah. Yeah, so... Nice, nice little secret entrance, which we're going to... Oh, no. I think I'm dropping onto spikes at this point. Yeah, let's just not drop onto the spike, shall we? That was close. Anyway, down here we go. And see what's what down here. There will be a chest. There will be something. Ah, uh, okay. So in that grate, there's going to be some enemies. This is going to let some enemies out. Let's fuck them up. Come on, come at me then. Ouch. Okay, I'm having the bomb shoes though. Tell you what, the grip, the grip with the hover boots isn't great. Why are you giving me bomb shoes? Ah, shit. God, I'm taking hits here, man. I haven't got a fairy. Can you give me some recovery hearts, please? Why are you giving me bomb shoes? Why are you feeling that bomb shoes is the best thing to give me? Ah. Come on, open your mouth, boy. Open up. There you go. Arrows. Come on, recovery hearts, please. Open up. Yes. That was more taxing than it should have been. Um, let's see if there's anything. I know this is where they come from, but I just wanted to check if there's anything in there. There's not. It's always worth checking these things. And then this will lead us to a chest. Yes, it will. Right then, could be anything. He's just kicking it open, doesn't sound good. It's one green rupee. Hey, we've got to check these things, we know this. As we don the iron boots and continue on our way through the temple. I'm going to save here as well. And then we'll float up and see what the water level has done for us now. Well, I think this is the mid sort of way water level. Yeah, it is. So what I'm going to do... Yeah, yeah. So it's usually up there. Uh, ouch. So I'm just going to go and bomb that little bit that we saw earlier on. So now the water level should be at the point where that is the platform that we end up on. It is. Great. So, bomb chew. Unfortunately, this is going to actually cause us pain and take more life away. So if, that was a, if this chest is a recovery heart, I'm not going to be complaining. Well, maybe I would a little bit. Let's see. So this is usually a small key. We've got loads of small keys. It's another small key. This one for the forest temple, which is completely useless because 
we don't really need any more of those because we've pretty much already done the forest temple. Okay, we can go in this direction, which we, I don't think we've been this way yet. Oh shit. It's, again, it's a lot of times it's taking away the music and music in the dungeons as we get more hearts that's that's nice i feel like when when the boss music comes uh, when the villain music comes in it does take away some of the music sometimes as i can now hear the the sound of water um yeah there is another another hookshotable area just about okay now this Let's be smart. Oh, golden pots, golden pots. Anything good. A piece of heart. And arrows. So let's be smart about this. And get this cheeky chest. Which is one rupee. So far, no massive finds in the water temple but again i still do believe there are plenty more directions we can go in before we start worrying about that including this direction so let's go in this direction let's have a look and see what this has got for us okay so what we need to do is stand on this bad boy oh something's gonna fall down there it's gonna be one of those tentacle-like things he's been fucked up it's always good to see. So I need to get a bit closer. Nice. Da, 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 da. Nice little arrival at this point. And this is our next water level change. So that brings us up to the water level being back to the top. Hmm. And in classic water temple fashion, I'm now thinking if I missed something. So we've already been that way and done the Dark Link stuff. We've already done that. Yeah, I know. Beautiful. Okay, so let's see. Let's go through every area and make sure we've fully, fully explored it. There is also another area of this section, this floor. Ah! Oh, no. 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 Okay, what have you got for us then? Ah. Nice, yes. Fold in half, mate. Now I take the iron boots off. I mean, it does. I can see why people hated this temple in the original game, because usually the fact that we've got this on the D pad is a massive bonus. You wouldn't usually have that. Okay. Doesn't appear to be time limiting us, so. Nice. Okay, so. Oh, I'm seeing golden pots. I'm seeing golden pots in a school tuller. How the hell do we get them? How do we hit that? Hmm. Interesting. What have we got without magic? Will a bomb chew get that far? I'm going to try bomb chew and see if the explosion hits it. No. I don't know if Din's fire would usually hit that. I think it would. How are you hitting that? Can the giant's knife do that? But then what if I break it? Let's try it. Aye! Get in there, the giant's knife coming in clutch. Now let's see if there's actually worth getting anything in this room. I'm gonna get the school tiller first, get out of the way. So that's 26, only four more. Right then, Pots. Oh, the lens of truth! The lens of truth, that's big. And the ice arrows, interesting. We now have got all the, 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 um, the arrows. Of course they require magic, but what we can do, I've just thought with the lens of truth, we can go to the Desert Colossus and go backwards and see if there's anything on that route. And I don't care about those. Okay, so that's our... I was literally about to say that if we don't find anything more in the Water Temple, which I don't know if there's anything more to find now that we haven't already done, 
we might be at a loss. But that's fantastic. That gives us a lens of truth. That gives us a couple of things to try now. I'm, I really am thinking that maybe now it's just all long shot. I'm happy to leave the water temple for a bit. I'm happy to, let's hit a, a restart. That's cool, that's cool by me. So yeah, it's registered that we've got the lens of truth. We've lost no saves from that. It'll drop us into the water temple. I'd say that our progress in the water temple is now gonna be futile until we have that item. But let's see, let's go to the uh, Desert Colossus and go in reverse using the lens of truth. The thing about the lens of truth is, right now it doesn't get us anywhere. Oh no, we can't use it without magic. I've just remembered. We can't use it without magic. Damn. And on that bombshell, it might be time to end. What else can we do? Well, people, well, people. We've got the Lens of Truth, which is great. That's progress in this episode. We need magic to use the Lens of Truth, which I completely forgot, because you just take it. You just assume, don't you? You just assume that you'll be able to, that you'll be able to use it, because you'd have magic by this point in the game. Thank you so much for watching. I'll go away again and have a think about it. We made some good progress in that episode in terms of covering areas and seeing what's what, and I will come back to you guys ready to do just that. Like and subscribe, and have a great rest of your day. See you later, people.